Hello, I'm Anthony Hughes, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to add a graphic, such as a logo, to the first page of every flow in Dorico, the advanced music notation software from Steinberg. I'm starting with a project that has several flows, and I'm going to switch to engrave mode. And by clicking on each of the page icons here, and then looking to see which master page has its background shaded in green, you can see that Dorico is using the first master page at the beginning of each new flow, which by default has text frames set up to display the flow title, lyricist, and composer. Well, for this particular project, I don't need to show any lyricist information, but I would like to format the title and composer text in a different font and align to the left, and I would like to display a logo in the top right corner of the page at the start of each new flow. Rather than making the modifications on every page that a new flow starts on, I'm going to double click the first master page in the master pages panel. This opens the master page editor, which allows me to edit this template layout that will be used on every page that this specific master page is used. Now, I mentioned that I didn't need to display any lyricist information in this project, so I can select this text frame and press delete in order to remove it. Next, I'll select the composer text frame, and I would like this to be positioned over here on the left. So I'll use these constraints padlock buttons to lock it to the left margin rather than the right. And this just means that if you change the page size, then the text frame will retain its current distance from the left side edge of the page. And then I will open the properties panel and set the distance to the left margin to one point. This will keep the width the same, but move the frame over to where I want it. I'm also going to bring the right edge of the title text frame in by 100 points to make room for my graphic. While I'm here, I'm going to set the vertical alignment of the composer text frame to top, which is going to position the text quite nicely in relation to the title text. Now I can click this Insert Graphics Frame button and drag out the frame on the page. I only want the frame to be locked to top and right, so I'll unlock it from the left and the bottom. And in the Properties panel, set the width to exactly 100 points and the height to 55 points. Then I double click inside the frame and choose the graphics file that I would like to display, which can be a JPEG, PNG, or SVG. It's important to remember that each master page is a pair of left hand and right hand pages, because when they are applied to your actual pages in your layouts, those pages could end up either on the left or on the right when considered as a booklet. And you might want to accommodate some variations such as the placement of page numbers and so on. For this example, we need both left and right hand pages to be exactly the same. So we need to set up the same configuration of text and graphics frames on the right hand page. And you can do this easily by clicking on this button to copy the page layout from the left to the right. That's all I need to do in the master page editor. So I can close that by clicking this button. The last thing I need to do is to format the text in the two text frames. And I'll do that by modifying the paragraph styles that they use. So selecting the engrave menu and opening the edit paragraph styles dialog. I'll change the font that's used in text items across the project by modifying the default text style. And that change will be inherited by the other paragraph styles. For the title, I'll set that to use the medium weight of the font, and I'll set the alignment to left align. Then I'll choose the composer style, and increase the font size a little, and again set it to left align. I'll click OK to apply my changes and close the dialog. And there you have it, a consistent header for each flow across the layout, including a graphic and precisely positioned text. If you've found this video helpful, please click on the thumbs up button below to let me know you've liked it. And subscribe to our Dorico channel today to see many more videos like this one. I'm Anthony Hughes.
Thanks for watching.